What up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan? How's everybody doing? How's me gente doing? Hopefully everybody's doing great. And today on the Nipsey Hustle Challenge, day 13, what I want to talk about is people wasting their time watching TV, people waste, wasting their time playing video games all day, and people have this mindset that, oh, I play video games. I think everything that people do when it comes to video games, when it comes to uh, trading stocks, when it comes to trading currency, when it comes to anything to get you know money in your pockets, people think they're gonna be that one person to make money out of it. When it comes to video games, only a small percentage of people really make money doing video games. But you have all these kids and everybody else playing video games all day thinking they're gonna do the whole Fortnite thing and they're gonna make money and stuff like that. And the reason why I wanted to make this video now, I am watching TV, I am watching a basketball game, but this basketball game that I watch might be me watching 10 minutes or 30 minutes. Not even, I'm not even gonna lie like that. I probably watch around two hours of TV a week, if that. That's only when basketball is on or, or some sports that I like is on. So that's basically two hours a week. Um, either that or I'm usually on the internet, on YouTube, I'm watching information videos and stuff like that. But we gotta get to the point where we stop over indulging in, in, in TV and video games, especially now. I forgot the last time I played video games. I'm not even gonna lie, video games are fun. But if I'm not where I want to be, if I'm not making the money I want to be, then I have no reason to be playing video games. I have no reason to be watching TV all day. I have no reason to be lazy. I have no reason. And we all get to that point. And the reason why I wanted to make this video because it's important. More people are living paycheck to paycheck. So when you come on my comments or you come anywhere else and, and you say, oh, I, I make enough money to do video games. You're only a small percentage of people who are in the, in the right, um, in your right space. I mean, most people are living broke. Most people are living paycheck to paycheck. You go in the hood, you go anywhere you you go to. People are, are having driving nice cars, living in a living in a in a shack. People have TVs in every room, and they're broke, living paycheck to paycheck. If you're living on food stamps, there's no reason why you should have TVs, video games, uh, Versace, nice clothes. There's no reason, and this is for white people, black people, Hispanic people. You can't put people in a in the in the how you say it man i had the word in my brain you can't put people in 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 their own uh section when we all doing the same thing living paycheck to paycheck we have no second stream of income no third stream of income and they wonder why white people are are, are, are winning you have these people who make all this money and they buy jewelry and they buy uh clothing and they buy um high expensive clothing and then you go and, and, and these rappers are only 1% of the rappers that are making money. Most of the rappers are broke, living paycheck to paycheck. Only a small minute of people are making cash. You gotta remember that. But if you're living in the US, if you're not living in another country, if you're living in the US, you're part of the 1% if you're making over 30,000 a year. There's people in different countries, third world countries that live with less and those are the, the, the people that are not 1%. When I hear these people in the U.S. saying, oh, the 1% the are winning, the 1% are winning, you are part, part of that 1% if you're making over 50000 a year combined. You're part of that 1%. So stop with this, all this Illuminati, this and that. It, it might exist, but if you're over leveraging, using credit cards to live, and, and, and you living at your mom's house and your sneaker collection is better than anybody else's sneaker collection, then there's a problem. And the reason why I wanted to make a, this, this videos and stuff like this bothers me because I was in the same position as everybody else. The reason why I love sneakers, I, I, I'm very, I'm, I used to be a sneakerhead before that word even existed in the 90s and the early 2000s collecting sneakers. The thing is, I, I got sneakers now and I'm getting rid of everything. I'm getting selling everything because the reason why I bought sneakers because I was broke. Oh, my parents, my mom was broke because my mom is the one who raised us. She didn't have money. We couldn't even go to pay less and buy sneakers. We had we couldn't afford three people, three sons, three kids to buy over fifty dollars worth of sneakers combined. So that's why I said, man, I'm never gonna wear cheap sneakers. I'm never gonna 
not have nice sneakers. So now that I have nice sneakers, I'm like, the reason why I buy them because I'm correlating that with, with not having money back in the days. Even though I will always have a nice pair of sneakers on, that's the only thing that I really worry about. I can wear a white t-shirt, but I always have to have a nice pair of sneakers on because back in the days we didn't have sneakers to wear. So I'm always going to have a nice pair of sneakers. I understand that. However, if you're broke, you're not allowed to have those nice things. If, you, if you're smoking weed and you say, oh, smoking weed should be legalized, and you're broke, then you have no reason to be talking about we should be legalized if you're broke, sitting in your mom's house. If you're if you're 18 and still living at your mom's house, there's a problem. Let's even put it, let's even raise the, uh, the age. Okay, if you're 21 living at your mom's house, there's a problem. If you can't go out there and get your, get it on your own. If you, you, if you're living at your mom's house and you're paying all the bills, that's a different story. But if your parents are paying all the bills, then you need to do something with your life. You can't be going to your friend's house smoking weed all day, uh, you know, having this hip hop dream with, with, with no talent and, and not doing anything else. And I understand that that's the only way you're gonna make it. You know, if you, if you're, if you love music, then right now is a good time to, to focus on music because you can put it on different platforms. But if you're not doing anything, if you're not hustling, if you're not doing 20 hours a day of, of, of working on what you love, then there's no reason why you should be watching TV, playing video games and, and, and all this other shit. Now this, like I said, this is a topic that I I, I recommend. This is a book that I'm gonna recommend that you should read. Uh, you don't have to believe 99% of, uh, you don't have to believe 1% of what he say, but 99% of the things that he do say is important. And it's called the Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover. And I believe everybody should read that. That should be a mandatory book in everybody's library. If you use that with everybody else's um, knowledge, then there's no reason why you'd be broke in this um, society, especially in America. So thank you for watching my videos. Uh, Nipsey Hustle Talents, day 13. Peace.